welcome to Clash of the Dice. Wrath of the Gods. I'm James. I'm Joshua. And in this episode we're going to be doing another game of Age of Sigmar Champions and I'll be taking on the forces of order. And I'll be taking on the Grand Alliance of Death. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, we've done the preparation phase. Joshua is going to go first. So, over to Joshua. So, I've set up my skeleton, re my skeleton army with my vampires and I'm going to start by playing a ravenous crypt ghoul my bloody vampire queen who is a warrior wizard I think the uh, the death starter deck is uh, it's quite a good mix of risen vampires and mordants so you don't get very spirits I don't think so yeah. I've put down my ravenous crypt ghoul I've completed a quest I rotate my bloody vampire queen now I'm going to play Brutal Smash on my um, bloody vampire queen because she's being used as a warrior at the moment, so I can do that. So two damage to your opponent. One, two, so I'm now on 30. You I've started done, on 30, didn't you? Still on 30. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I've done my quest, so I rotate it once more. And that's two actions, and that is the end of my turn. Okay, so at the end of your turn, we're both on 30 health. Right, I'm going to play Warding Light on my Lord Relictor, so that rotates him. Oh no, not yet, because he hasn't actually healed anything yet. Um, so yeah, that stays there. When this rotates around to there, I'll get some health and then we can rotate Lord Relictor. Right, uh, okay. I'm going to play Paladin Protector on my Knight Heraldor. Uh, reduced damage to receive from highlighted enemies, which would be that one, that one, and that one. In this case, by two. And highlighted allied units, which would be that one and that one, cannot be removed. So I've played a Stormcast unit, so that rotates my Knight Heraldor. And that's the end of my turn, and we're still both on a... You take two damage. So now I'm on 30 health and you're on 28. My turn? Yep. Rotate him, and I do one damage. Uh, no, reduce. Yep. By two. So. Okay. I'm going to play a Crypt Shield Black Knight on my Hungering Vampire Lord. It's a Risen unit. So, corners one to do, reduce damage to receive from highlighted enemies by whatever number it is in the corner. So that's there, there, and there. And that's all I'm going to do, so I'm going to draw a card. Okay. So I'm going to rotate my Warding Light spell, rotate my Paladin Protector. So... Ooh! just realised I did that wrong. I sh you should have two more damage, because I shouldn't have damaged you, because that reduces incoming damage, not does damage to you. So, yeah. Put you yourself two health back on. Always read the card, folks. Right. So... I think I will play... No, I'm just going to take two cards. I'm not going to do anything. My turn? Yeah, so just to clarify, you're on 30 health, I'm on 30 health. Yeah, over to you. Two damage. I take... No, I reduce that by one. So I do one damage. Yeah, so I'm down 29. Just push I, back a bit. I reduce all your damage by one. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm not going to do anything, so I'm just going to draw two cards. Okay. So, I'm on 29 health, you're on 30. Uh-huh. Right. So, rotate Warding Light, and the Paladin Protector gets re discarded. So, so Warding Light, four damage. you take 4 damage, minus 1, presumably. Yeah, minus 1, so that would be 1, 2, 3. Yeah. And then I gain 4 health. Now, my Lord Relictor has a special ability. When this champion or a card controlled by this champion grants you four or more health, you may rotate I, a highlighted unit one step backwards. Except there aren't any highlighted units. Um, but he has now gained health, so we rotate him to there. I gain four health. One, two, three, four, which puts me on 33. Uh, there's nothing in the rules that says you can't go past your starting health. That I have seen. So... You might, people might want to correct me on that one. We're going to do... Hmm, 
do with playing a little Stormcast unit really, didn't I? So I'll play a Stormcast unit, I'll play a Hurricane Raptor on my Knight Heraldor, which will rotate him. And that does one damage minus one. So that was the same? Yeah, and then I've still got one action to do. So I think I will use the heroic act of my Knight Heraldor, which is I can rotate a highlighted Stormcast unit one step forward. So if I rotate that to there, uh, you take two damage, minus one, so you take one more damage. So at the end of that turn, I'm on 33 health, you are on 26. Okay, rotate. That does three damage. Yeah. One, and two, three. corner three on this character does damage, so that's two damage. Okay, that's a good start to your turn. Mm hmm Done quite a bit of damage. So, I'm going to play a Feasting Varg Heist on my Skeleton Champion. Mm -hmm. So, I've played a unit, so I rotate him. Yep. That's one card played. What does a Feasting Varg Heist do? Corners 1 to 2 gain health. I played him, so I gain 1 health. And then corner three, draw cards. Okay, yeah. So, I, I'm i not going to do anything else, so I draw a card. Because I've only used one action. Okay, so we rotate that and it gets discarded. We rotate that gets discarded. Right, go so to bag itself. I think I will... I'm going to play Piercing Shot on my Liberator Prime. That does three rend damage. Rend means I can't do anything to resist that. Yeah, you can't block it. And that rotates my Liberator Prime. Uh, I will play an Alpha Griff Charger. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. On my Knight Heraldor. And that does one damage, but is increased by one if the highlighted champion, i.e. that one, costs seven or more. Your bloody vampire queen costs nine, so you take two damage. And that rotates this one. My turn? That is certainly the end of your uh, my turn, so I'm on 28 health, you are on 22. So I rotate that, I gain health, yep. so I'm now on 23. Rotate that, that's gone all the way around and gets discarded. Yep. I rotate that, there's no more left, so that gets discarded. And, yeah. So, I am going to play... Okay, I'll keep that. I think I'm just going to play a murderous Vargheis on my hungry Vampire Lord. So that, that does damage to my opponent. Yep. So, two damage. Two damage. And I rotate my character. And I'm going to use a Heroic Dact, because I've only used one ability. Heroic Dact, discard one card from your hand and gain two health. So I'm going to discard my tactical information, mm -hmm. and I'm going to gain two health. Okay. So that's two actions, so now it's your turn. Okay, so at the end of that turn, I'm on 26, Joshua's on, on 25, it's getting close, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to play, oh, rotate my Alpha Griff Charger, so you take one damage. But... Two. Take two because. Oh yeah, yeah, because of its ability. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm glad you're here, otherwise I'd miss that. I'm going to play tactical information on my Knight Heraldor. Uh, draw one card and swap this champion's position with a highlighted disengaged champion. So I'm going to swap it with my Liberator Prime. And because my Knight Heraldor has played an action. He has completed his quests. Doesn't the unit follow you? No. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Because you're swapping the location of the champion, not the units. Uh, okay, so Divine Blast, Instant Blessing, 6 damage to your opponent and gain 2 health. 1, 2, so you take 6 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Awesome. And I've still got 1 action left. I will play. I'll play. Hmm, Warding Light on my Lord Relictor. 
and that rotates him one step. And that is the end of my turn. So, my turn. Yep. Oh wait, at the end of the turn I have 17 health and Dad's got 28. 28. So, I rotate my Feasting Varkeist, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. One, two. Murderous Varkeist now does two damage. Two damage. One, yep. Two. So, I'm going to play... <coughs> I'm going to play a Freakish Crypt Horror on my Skeleton Champion. Freaky. Looks, makes sense he's a Freakish Crypt Horror. And again, I'm going to discard a card from my hand. So I'm going Does the Freakish Crypt Horror do anything? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to use a Heroic Dex because I've only used one ability. Mm -hmm. Well, played a card. So I'm going to discard Opportunity Strike and I'm going to gain two health. Mm -hmm. So is that your Hungering Vampire Lord's Heroic Act, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Discard a card and gain two health. So at the end of that turn, you're on 19, I'm on 26. Yep, so I think I'm going to lose. Rotate my Warding Light. There's plenty of time yet. Yeah. Rotate my Alpha Drift Charger. Take one damage, two damage. One, two. And there's not a lot I can do with a card that I currently have, so I'll take two cards and then over to you. My turn. Rotate my free my feasting. Um, Fark Ice, he gets discarded. I do one damage. To you. One damage. One damage. And then my freakish crypt horror does one damage and I gain one health. So I'm going to play Mystic Shield on my Bloody Vampire Queen, and that's all. So I'm going to draw a card. Okay. So, end of that turn, I'm on 24 health, you're on 18. We rotate Warding Light, and we rotate Alpha Gift Charger, which gets discarded. So, you take 4 damage, although you does the Mystic Shield reduce any of that. Du reduce damage received from highlighted enemies and allies by whatever. So okay. one, two. Yeah, enemies and allies, so it, it's not yeah. units. Is so it you take two damage and I gain four health. I've already done two damage. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to play... Hmm. Oh, I know the card I'm going to play, just trying to work out which unit to play it on. I think we will play it on Liberator Prime. So Triumphant Smash, remove a highlighted enemy spell or unit. That would be that one. If the card was removed, rotate a highlighted allied unit one step backwards. There isn't one there. But that's that spent. And now I'm going to draw a card. My turn. I've got 28 health, you've got 16. So I rotate that, that gets discarded. I rotate that and I do nothing. Yeah. So, I'm going to play um, Call of the Grave on my Skeleton Champion. Gain one health, um, shuffle two units from your discard pile into your deck. So, I think I'm going to take my Murderous Varkeist and my Feasting Varkeist shuffle them into my deck. Mm -hmm. That was an ability card, so you can yeah. rotate your skeleton champion. No, because I need to place a unit for that. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it from a different angle. Yeah, you're quite right. So, I'm, I've played one action, and I'm not going to do anything else, so I'm just going to draw a card. Okay, so you rotate that and remove it. Right, I'm going to play Triumphant Smash on my Lord Relictor. Not the most effective way to do it, but he has now played an ability, so that gets rotated. Um, now I'm going to play Righteousness on my Lord Relictor, which rotates him again because it's a spell, and that unlocks his blessing. And Righteousness, incoming damage, I oh know, does damage to your opponent and reduces damage received from highlighted enemies by two. So those three are going to do two less damage and you take three damage. Okay. So 
my blessing that I've unlocked is a passive one, Stormforge, when a highlighted Stormcast unit, which would be any of these, but there's none there, leaves play, draw one card. Bear in mind it says units. Yeah. Okay, my turn. I'm going to play a Feasting Vark Heist here. Mm -hmm. Corners 1 to 2, gain health, so I played it, I gain health, and I rotate my bloody Vampire Queen, because she needed a Vampire unit to be played. Oh, I didn't rotate him, sorry. Two damage. I didn't rotate him, so two damage. Right, yeah. No, it gets reduced by two. Okay, and I gain two health. So I've played one card, and I'm going to do nothing else, so I'm just going to draw a card. I did shuffle my deck. Okay. When yeah, we saw you. It was captured on camera, I'm sure it was. Or at least the sound was, if nothing else. Right, over to me. We rotate the righteousness, and that gets discarded. Uh... There's no point in playing that, so I'm just going to take two cards. Okay, so at the end of this turn, I'm on 28, you're on 17. Okay, I'm going to gain one health, and that gets discarded. Things have slowed down a bit, haven't they? Nobody seems mm. to be making any headway other than rotating. I'm going to play a Ravenous Crypt Ghoul on my Skeleton Champion. So I rotate him, mm -hmm. and I do nothing, and then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Right, I'm going to play an Arcane Vault on my Lord Relictor, and then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. So I'm still on 28 health, you're on 18. Draw two cards. One, two. Ooh. Yes, that's handy. Okay. Rotate my Ravenous Crypt Ghoul and I do one damage. One damage. I'm going to use Devour on my um, Hungering Vampire Lord. Remove a highlighted spell or unit. So Ooh. I'm going to remove my Arcane Bolt. I've removed my the Arcane unit. Bolt. Yeah, your, your Arcane Bolt. I've removed something, a spell or a unit, so I get to rotate. And shuffle one unit from your discard pile into your deck. So I think I'm going to take a a freakish crypt horror. Okay, so that's an ability used. And one card played. And then I'm going to play Soul Stealer on Hungering Vampire Lord. Okay, that's the spell. Okay. Rend damage to your opponent and gain health. Okay. So that's you done? Yep. Right. Um, Vandus Hammerhand is going to play Piercing Shot. That does three rend damage. One, two, three. And I've inflicted damage, so we rotate Vandus. Discard it. Um, and then going to draw a card. Over to you. Rotate that. That then gets discarded. That's been expired. Two damage. Rotate that. Yeah, strictly speaking, you should have rotated the spell first, but it doesn't really impact the game. Two damage. Two damage. One, two. And then I'm going to play um, Soul Stealer on um, Bloody Vampire Queen. Mm -hmm. I've played a spell. So I rotate Bloody Vampire Queen, mm -hmm. and I get a blessing. What, sh what is it? It's an instant blessing. Four damage to your opponent. Shuffle two cards from your opponent's hand into their deck. Go on then. Pick two. These are the two. I get shuffled into my deck. Yep. So that was Turmoil of Souls. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound all too nice. So for all that you thought you were losing, I think you're about to make a bit of a comeback. Mm. Especially with the two Soul Seeders I've got in play. So right now I'm just not getting the cards that I need. So I played um, a card and I didn't think I'm going to play any more, so I'm going to draw a card. Well, I I'm, I can't, so okay. So I'm on 21 health, you're on 15. Right. Uh, I've got nothing to rotate. Uh, can't really play. Oh, there's no point in playing that, so I'm just going to draw two cards. One. 
to rotate. Okay, rotate my soul stealer, rotate my soul stealer, rotate my um, ravenous crypt ghoul. That does three damage. Let's see. Let's um, get closer again. Going to play bloody, no, bloody, sorry, murderous Vargeist. Two damage. Oh, I'm one health 15. behind you. I'm on 15, you're on 16. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I rotate my skeleton warrior. And I can't do anything else, so I draw a card. Right, over to me. Yep. Right, I'm going to play Star Drake on Vandas Hammer Hand. As this card enters play, discard one card from your hand. So I'll discard Stand Fast. Uh, and that rotates Vandas Hammer Hand, because I've played a card. Uh, does damage to your opponent, nothing at the moment. Remove a highlighted unit, so we'll remove that. You've removed an enemy, yeah. so you rotate. And that rotates around his hammer hand again. And then I will play uh, Opportunity Strike on Vander's hammer hand, which is an ability, two damage to your opponent. There's other cards there, so it's just two damage. And that has completed Vander's hammer hand's quests. So, Swift Judgment, an instant blessing. Four damage to your opponent. One, two, three, four. Increase this by five if the highlighted champion is disengaged, which is that one. Increase this by five? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Ouch. Okay, my turn? It certainly is. So I'm on 16 health and you're on four. Okay, two damage. Two damage. Rotate. Rotate. Four damage. One, two, three. Four. Up by four health. One, two, three, four. Oh, that. <sighs> I did need that. Okay, so I can't play anything, so I'm just going to draw two cards. Oh, I just realised you should have taken another three damage. When a unit controlled by this champion is removed by your opponent. Oh no, sorry, that's when you remove one of mine. No, that's fine. We're okay. So you done? Yep, your turn. Right. So rotate the Star Drake. Take five damage. You just need to deal three damage. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I can. So, because I've got no cards to play, so I'm just going to draw two cards. One, two. My turn. Yep. We'll take my murderous spark heist. One damage. Yep. So I'm now on nine damage. You're on three. We'll take my soul stealer. Four damage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Gain four five health. Damage. One, two, three, four. And you're on seven. Get rid of this soul stealer. I'm gonna play Terrify on my hungering um, vampire lord. I'm going to play Opportunity Strike on this skeleton champion. So two damage. One down to three. You're on seven. And I've played two cards, so it's your turn. Okay, so we're gonna take Star Drake, I'm on zero. This is so close! You've got seven hit points left, I'm down to three. Highlighted units and spells from here and here are dormant. Dormant? Because my terrify. Oh really? Dormant. That's Affected so cards do not apply their effects and cannot rotate or restart. Okay, so... I think I played that just in the nick of time. Yeah, so I can still play a card there. Yeah, it's just, just they're can't dormant. can't do anything, but I can now rotate my Liberator Prime. Yes. Yeah. So, and if I play an ability there, we can't apply its effects. Um, it only says highlighted units and spells. Okay, so I can play an ability there. Which is can only be played up by a Stormcast champion. He is a Stormcast champion. Shuffle up to four Stormcast units from your discard pile into your deck. So is that all it says? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's assuming I've got four in my discard pile. Have I got any in my discard pile? Oh, there's one, two. So I'll shuffle them into my deck. Oh, this is getting really tense. And then, of course, because I've played an ability, that completes Liberator Prime's... Oh, no, it doesn't. Darn it. 
it rotates him to there. I need to play another Stormcast unit on him. So my turn? Uh, yes. Rotate him, that gets discarded. Rotate that, that gets discarded. Rotate that, that's still there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Arcane Bolt on my bloody Vampire Queen. And I can't do anything else, so I'm going to draw a card. Okay, so this is still dormant, so it can't rotate. Yes? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, although, how does that work? Because, yeah, I can, I can use this heroic act to rotate him, um, but it can, then can't apply the effects, presumably. Yeah, because it says... Um, affected cards do not apply their effects yeah. and cannot um, rotate or restart. Yeah, because that's interesting. It, 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 you've got two rules that contradict each other. Because this, if I was to use this heroic act, I can rotate a stormcast unit. So but that says I can't because it's dormant. But this says I can because. Yeah. I think I'd say that you can rotate it. It's just the effects won't count. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Well, I tell you what, we'll make things simple by the fact that I'm just going. Just going to draw two cards. Okay, my turn. Yep. Rotate that. That gets discarded. Rotate my arcane bolt. Yep. My turn. Yep. I'm going to play a crypt shield black knight here. Rotate my skeleton champion and get a blessing. I get carrion feast passive. Where, where's that supposed to be? Up there. It's a heroic deck. Damage to your opponent and gain health. Rotate this one step forwards. So how much damage do you do to me? Three. No, that's only if I use it as a heroic deck. Oh, I see. I've played right. one card, so I can play it as a heroic deck. Yeah. So heroic, heroic act. Two damage. No, three damage to my opponent and gain three health. Yeah. One, two, three. So yeah, I'm down to zero. You're on ten, so you win. Yes. Well done. So there we have it. Death triumphs over order. Wow. <laughs> At one point from saying, I'm gonna lose! And then I came out with all those soul stealers and yeah, I came out with that arcane bolt and stuff. Yeah, it, 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 it was pretty close at the end. Uh, mm. I think one more turn, I'd have had you. Mm. But credit where credit's due, you made a bit of a comeback and yeah. you managed to fight me off. But yeah, that does feel like the, the forces of undead. Because, I mean, you get all those healing cards in, you get all the um, vampire type cards, you get all the skeleton type cards. But in... Me and Dad have been discussing about the deck and we've been saying it's going off the main theme of the Warhammer Undead. It's not much skeletons, it's more of the vampires and stuff now. Well, I think the traditional Warhammer universe, the, the traditional Warhammer universe was uh, more zombies and skeletons, whereas more recently there's been a, a bit more of an emphasis on vampires. Um, but yeah, the, the, there is the scope to modify it and now we've played a video with all four factions, the main four factions, then we can start customising the campaign decks. And I think what I'd try, like to try to do to the the death deck is build it around a more traditional undead style army. So um, we've got a necromancer champion, the, we've got some skeleton warrior cards, um, and for me that's the biggest letdown in the, the, the death campaign deck is it's pretty, pretty much no skeletons other than the skeleton champions. There is a skeleton horde card, you know, at the least you could have put that in. But that's just my thoughts. Mm. Uh, yeah, so my thoughts on the um, deck as well. It's really good, you get all those healing cards in. Um, I really like the Feasting Varkais as well. Yep. I mean, two turns he heals and then right at the end you don't have to waste your actions for drawing cards. He draws cards for you. Yeah. And I think you get like two or three of those in there, don't you? I think you get two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the order deck, I think that's reasonably well balanced. Um, but again, it's it's always down. It's a card game. It comes down to the look of the draw. Um, I was just getting loads and loads of magic cards, and a bit like the, that was the first problem I had with the destruction deck when I first played with that. There's yeah. one spell user in your champions, and I'm getting loads of magic cards, and I can't really use them. So that slows things down a bit, and I just wasn't getting the the cards that I needed until the end. Eventually, I started getting some stormcasts coming out. But uh, yeah. yeah, so again, a little more balance than that. If I was going to customise that one, I would again probably take out um, Vardas Hammerhand because again, he his quests rely on removing cards, which is difficult to do. 
so I'm probably replacing with someone who is easier to accomplish the quests and sw swap out maybe one or two of the, the wizards cards and replace them with possibly a couple more Stormcast units. But other than that, as far as this game goes, loving it. I th mm. It's a great game. I prefer it over Pokemon cards because with mm. Pokemon cards, as I've always said, and most other collectible trading card games, you can build and customise a deck that will hammer absolutely everything you come across, which kind of takes away some of the enjoyment. Um, so if you were to take one of your monstrous decks with full of EXs and GXs and Megas and um, played up against a standard theme deck, as you seem to do with your poor little sister, and yeah. you thrash her every time, she's not going to enjoy that. Yeah, but and at least I... with this one, it's more balanced because your champions, they're allocated points and they're not allowed to exceed 20 points in total. And so also, it balances it out. Yeah, and that's how I felt when um, you started playing Pokemon cards. You brought in, you like, when on eBay, buy, bought all those really good cards, and I was like, I was well, stuck in the dark, and I was like. To be fair, I was going on eBay to buy cards because you were swapping them with all your mates. I haven't got any mates who play Pokemon cards, so you were getting all of the EXs and GXs and Megas, and I had nothing to fight against them with. So that's why I did it, so don't be making out that I'm the bad one there. Right. You started it. Right. Anyway. That was that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please continue to like, comment and subscribe and until next time, God bless.